everybody, welcome back. If you're new here, hi, I'm Mercury. Welcome to my channel. It's my daily vlog, so whatever I'm up to is what you're gonna see here. And today, I'm in Animal Kingdom, and I'm starting the adventure here in Pandora with the floating islands behind me. Yes, this is where the adventure is beginning. Let's go. We are now entering the Valley of Moara. And you can see the big pod. Everyone likes to like take pictures with the pod and like, I don't know if it still does it, but if you touch it, it would like, sm like if you touch it, it would steam or smoke and it would spit water. It was a lot of fun. I love all of the details in this land. Like look at the flowers, the plants. They really do look like they're from another world. Like this is one of the most immersive areas of any of the theme parks, probably next to Galaxy's Edge. But look, like, what kind of fruit is that? I don't know, don't eat it. You don't eat what you don't know. And reveal to the floating mountains. Look at that. two really cool wicker sculptures in uh, the Pandora area and they're by each of the rides. So the first one is over here by the Navi River ride. And this one, this wicker sculpture right here, is the Shaman of Song. And we're gonna go on the ride and see the Shaman. a posted wait time of 35 minutes and we're gonna see how long it takes. I love the theming on the line. It's like this is a woven structure. Look, it makes up the canopy. It's like the Navi created this place. And it's one with the earth, as the Navi are one with the earth. It's beautiful. Or it looks like almost like an organic uh, material. You know, it looks like leaves that, like this upper one, looks like leaves that were pressed and are translucent. And over here, this almost looks like an offerings area or ritual or spiritualistic because you have Wicca sculpture and all of this fruit. Or it's an artistic representation of something, but either way, it is beautiful. I made it to merge and I've only been online for eight minutes. Okay, stop the clock. Nine minutes, 21 seconds on a 35 minute posted queue. And here comes my boat. and so peaceful and that shaman of song is one of the most fluid animatronics that exist it just like it dances and it, I mean it doesn't get up and dance but like it sways to the music and it just you feel it feels real it feels like like a Navi you know and 
the bioluminescence in there, like, it's, it's literally a trip to another planet, and it's absolutely delightful, it's calm, it's cool, it's air-conditioned, and I have less than a 10-minute wait for it. Stunning. Stunning. Look at those floating mountains. Let's see, where am I going? Be aware, this pond contains animals that shoot powerful jets of water into the air to hunt small flying creatures. Sudden arm movements close to the pond trigger this hunting response. You may get wet. Hmm. Oh, really? I'm waving my arms. I see some bubbles. I don't know. I'm not getting wet. I really wouldn't mind. It's really, really warm. Oh no! Somebody lost a dinosaur! Somebody lost their dinosaur! There's just, there's just a dinosaur hanging out here. Hopefully they didn't go too far and they come back for their dinosaur. So this end of Pandora is where it's it's like the human leftovers, like the machinery and the technology, all that stuff was left here and the Navi converted it and it's starting to have like overgrowth on it now, but they're they're making use of it. So you see that here with the mech that is guarding Pongo Pongo and wind traders. So Pongo Pongo is the little uh, beverage shop and you can get the night blossoms there. It's right back there past the mech. And then Wind Traders is the gift shop and Flight of Passage will let you out into there. And then to the right over here is the Thule Canteen and we're gonna go here for lunch in a little while. And this is the menu for Pongo Pongo. So you can get the pineapple cream cheese spring roll or pretzel and there's that night blossom which I've had before and it's quite delicious. And here's another thing that was left over by the humans. So remember how before I mentioned there are two different wicker sculptures that are at the entrances to the rides? So I already showed you the one that's the Shaman of Song that's over by Navi River. Now I'm going to show you the one that's the Banshee. So over here, right at the entrance to Flight of Passage, you'll see this giant wicker Banshee sculpture. Look at him. He is glorious. It's gotta be like 20 feet tall, maybe 30 feet. This is me. This is the Banshee sculpture behind me. Like, is really huge. And this is the test seat for Flight of Passage. So you do get into it kind of strange compared to other rides. So you sit in it almost like you're riding a motorcycle, right? So you straddle on that thing. And then these pieces come back behind you and grab your legs. So if you have larger calves, this could be a weird fit. And then a piece comes on your lower back. But that is the test seat. Now I'm gonna go use my lightning lane and head over for Flight of Passage. So Flight of Passage queue starts outside. I am in the lightning lane, so we are gonna miss a lot of the interior science lab. But the line starts outside and then goes indoors. Side of the floating mountains. What a sight! And then we go inside. Now we're in the last part. I tap my magic band. You have to tap twice on this side. And this is the final part of the loading queue before the pre show. You can tell it's so much more industrial than outside because this is leftover from the humans. Green is potable water, red is suppression agent, 
Blue is nitrogen. And black is decon fluid. Decon fluid. What do they need decon fluid for? This is the menu for Satuli Canteen. I am gonna do like a build your own bowl kind of thing. I do hear that the cheeseburger pods are delicious, but they are not my thing because I don't eat the cow. But if you eat the cow or the gluten, cheeseburger pods I hear are delicious. But for me, it's gonna be a build your own bowl. So Satuli Canteen, one of the things they offer is the wood grilled chicken. And they do have some other grilled meats, so they got the grill on display. When I got here, I got right in line, and I was waiting a lot. It was a pretty long wait, and I was like, let me get out of this line, and I'm going to place my order via mobile order. It was so much faster. It was so much faster. My friends, mobile order. It'll get your food faster, and you could select the allergy-friendly versions of food in the mobile order menu. So I keep getting kids' meals because the portion size is perfect for me. I don't need, I don't eat a lot of food. I don't eat huge meals. The kid size, perfect portion. So let me, let me show you what I got. Okay, I did a build your own bowl, and what I did is I selected the vegetable base, so it's basically a salad, and it has the wood grilled chicken on it. I did ask for the slaw on the side because I wasn't sure what was in it, so I wasn't sure if I could eat it or not, so they put it on the side for me. And it comes with a little juice. You could get a bottle of water, you could substitute for some other beverages, but I got a little juice. So we're gonna have a little of our salad. Um, because of my dietary restrictions, I don't have any dressing on it, so this isn't going to be like the best thing ever. But the chicken is really tasty. It's very tender, very flavorful, it's well cooked. In the past, before my diet change, I have gotten this with the uh, potato, like there's a different blend of potatoes you can get this on. That's really good. If you can get this with the potatoes, I recommend that. And this is the seating area inside Satuli Canteen. So there's a lot of seating on the other sides of these walls. And then there's a fountain soda station. And there's also some outdoor seating. But this also theming. Look up. There's more up. So I hope you enjoyed spending the morning in Pandora with me. We got to go on the Navi River journey and see the Shaman of Song. We got to ride on the back of a banshee. I love Flight of Passage, it's so great. We got to check out the, the shop, the Wind Traders, and we had lunch at Setuli Canteen. It's great, there's so much here, it's so immersive. It's, it's like, if you don't get yourself wound up about the lines, it's actually a very relaxing area to be in. There's a lot of like these nature sounds and like foreign, you know, like foreign planet animals that you think are lurking in the bushes that are not. I mean, it's really just like Florida animals. But, it plays with your mind. I'm sure you hear them right now, they're really loud. So with that, I'm done, and I will see you all tomorrow. And until then, 
stay inspired by everyone. Take care.